Jujutsu Kaisen Zero began in November 2016, in which case bullying occurred against a high school student named Yura Katsu. Bullying victims generally suffer mental and physical injuries, but this is not the case with Yuta. The four delinquent students who bullied him were brutally persecuted by Rika, an overprotective cursed spirit that always clings to Yuta. After the incident and the fact that Rika cannot be separated from Yuta's body, the Jujutsu Society wishes to have Yuta executed, as the curse he is host to is a dangerous special grade spirit. However, a powerful sorcerer and a teacher, Satoru Gojo, convinces the Jujutsu Society to let Yuta join Tokyo Jujutsu Technical High instead, so he can learn to break the curse that is in him. Jujutsu refers to all skills and forms that sorcerers and cursed spirits can access through manipulating their cursed energy, and a person capable of utilizing Jujutsu is colloquially referred to as Jujutsu Sorcerer or simply Sorcerer, like Satoru Gojo. After meeting with Satoru, Yuta explains that Rika was his childhood friend, whom he would promise to marry when they grew up. He had willingly turned himself in, wanting to die, so Rika would not hurt anyone else. However, Gojo convinces him to choose life and joins Jujutsu High to learn to break the curse. At the school, Yuta meets fellow students named Maki Zenin, Tage and Yumaki, and Panda, all with distinct abilities. As Jujutsu sorcerers, the three students could see the existence of a curse that overshadowed Yuta, so when they pointed their weapons at him, Rika immediately took action, going to fight them to protect Yuta. But then, Gojo got there and managed to quell the fight that was about to ensue. Gojo then tells about Rika, Yuta's curse, who is his childhood friend. In the past, Yuta was very close to Rika, so they promised to get married when they grew up. But one day, she has a tragic accident and dies horribly. Since then, Rika has turned into a curse that continues to stick to Yuta and always protects him from all threats, even if she will not hesitate to hurt and kill others to protect him. Maki and the others finally understand Yuta's situation and decide to help him break the curse. After officially becoming a first-year student at Tokyo Jujutsu High, Yuta and his classmates begin their first mission. One day, Yuta and his classmate, a girl named Maki, accompanied by Gojo, head to an elementary school, where the students are reported to have mysteriously disappeared. Gojo assumed it was caused by the cursed spirits that inhabited the school. The cursed spirits, also called curses, are a race of spiritual beings manifested from cursed energy due to the negative emotion that flow out of humans. They harm humanity and are the primary targets of Jujutsu sorcerers. After telling them what to do, Gojo activated the magical barrier and left Yuta and Maki to carry out their first mission to purge the cursed spirits. Yuta seemed confused about what he should do because this was his first time, but not so with Maki, who can easily defeat the cursed spirits outside the school. Yuta and Maki rushed into the school building, but they didn't find any cursed spirits. Maki guessed it was caused by the cursed spirit inside Yuta's body. Because of that, she then asked Yuta's rank and was surprised to find out that his rank turned out to be special grade, a rank reserved for anomalies within the Jujutsu community. It is reserved for sorcerers with such immense strength that their destructive potential is immeasurable, making them exclusive and unique cases, hence the title special. If his rank was special grade, then, in other words, Yuta had the same strength as their teacher, Satoru Gojo, who was also at the same rank. Not long after, Yuta and Maki were surprised by the appearance of a large cursed spirit that swallowed them whole. Inside the cursed spirit's body, they meet two boys, one of whom has shown signs of turning into the cursed spirit and is in danger of losing his life. Maki tries to free them all from there, but she wasn't strong enough to defeat the cursed spirit and ended up being seriously injured. Yuta, who knew that he had to do something to save them all, seemed confused about what he should do. He wanted to call Rika but didn't know how because she had always appeared first to protect him all this time. When Yuta began to feel hopeless and thought he was completely useless, Maki then got up and tried to encourage him not to give up on the situation. After hearing Maki's words that managed to inspire his spirit and confidence, Yuta finally got up and tried to summon his cursed spirit. Although he is still overwhelmed by Rika, who has terrible powers, in the end, he manages to defeat the cursed spirits and save Maki and the two boys trapped there. Seeing Yuta, who succeeded in defeating the cursed spirits at the school, Gojo seemed satisfied because Yuta finally knew how to use his cursed spirit as a weapon to save the lives of others. Afterward, Yuta confides in Gojo that he thinks he may have been the one to curse Rika, rather than she curses him because of his love for her. However, Gojo didn't think so. Even he thinks the cursed spirit inside Yuta's body is not Rika because she shouldn't have enough negative emotions to make her turn into a cursed spirit with terrible power. Gojo then gave a sword to Yuta and asked him to practice channeling Rika's power into the katana so that he could gradually free Rika's spirit from being cursed. Upon hearing that, Yuta begins to work extremely hard to find a way to help Rika. He pushes himself during training and takes all his friends' and mentors' words to heart, showing a more determined side of himself. At his core, he wants to become someone who can help keep others out of danger. Yuta also asks Maki to teach sword techniques and earnestly practice these abilities to achieve his goal of liberating Rika. 
Three months pass in his training, and Yuta grows close with Maki, Inumaki, and Panda. Gaining friends helps Yuta gain confidence in himself and establish the goal to help set Rika free. Afterward, Gojo assigned Yuta to return to the mission. But this time, he will pair up with one of his classmates, a young man named Tage Inumaki. Yuta and Inumaki will face the cursed spirits recently appearing in a shopping center. Gojo sends a sorcerer named Kiyotaka to take them there while making the magical bearer to prevent the cursed spirits from escaping. Not long after, the cursed spirits began to arrive at that place. For the first time, Yuta saw the power that Inumaki possessed, namely cursed speech, an inherited technique of the Inumaki family. It reinforces the user's words with cursed energy and compels the listeners to act or be acted upon based on those words. With his power, Inumaki can easily defeat a flock of cursed spirits at once. Even so, the barrier had not disappeared, which indicated that there were still cursed spirits lurking in that place. Not long after, a cursed spirit appeared, which immediately launched a crushing attack on them. Inumaki tried to fight it off, but he became overwhelmed by the cursed spirit. Seeing that, Yuta was very surprised because they should have fought against the lower-grade cursed spirits. But they were facing one of high-grade cursed spirits, even more formidable than he had faced before. Inumaki is determined to face the cursed spirit alone, but Yuta warns him not to act rashly and suggests they work together. Yuta then uses his sword to attack, while Inumaki tries to find the cursed spirit's weakness. With solid cooperation, they finally manage to defeat the cursed spirit. On the other hand, a man is watching Yuta and Inumaki's fight from a distance. He was none other than Sugiru Geito, a previous student of Jujutsu High, banished after killing over a hundred innocent people. Geito purposely sent the high-grade cursed spirit to make it difficult for Yuta and Inumaki to carry out their duties. Elsewhere, Kiyotaka seems guilty and apologizes to Gojo for being negligent in doing his job. But Gojo didn't mind that because he realized that the man behind the attack was Sugiru Geito. Gojo rushed to report the attack to the principal of Tokyo Jujutsu High, Masamichi Yaga, who used to be the instructor who trained Gojo and Geito. While Masamichi was discussing with Gojo, Geito surprisingly appeared before Yuta and his schoolmates. Knowing that Geito had managed to infiltrate their school, Masamichi rushed to order Gojo to gather the Grade 1 sorcerers in front of the gate and prepare to face Geito's attack. Surprisingly, Geito declares war on the sorcerers. He says he will release thousands of cursed spirits into the city to kill non-sorcerer humans as he believes them to be useless. Having stated his purpose of coming there, Geito hurriedly left the place and could easily fend off the attacks of the sorcerers trying to stop him. Shortly afterward, Masamichi held an emergency meeting with the top brass of the Jujutsu High to prepare for the attack of Geito and thousand of cursed spirits who would briefly attack the city and slaughter non-sorcerer humans. Masamichi seems confident that they can face attacks from Geito and the cursed spirits because the Jujutsu Society has powerful sorcerers like Satoru Gojo and the three great Jujutsu sorcerer families of the Jujutsu world. The Zenin family, the Gojo family, and the Kamo family. They appear to descend from the big three vengeful spirits of Japan, each of whom were powerful sorcerers of the Heian era, the height of Jujutsu sorcery. Not only that, but Masamichi also received full support from the Jujutsu Society to crush Geito and the cursed spirits. Meanwhile, Geito had anticipated the steps that would be taken by Masamichi and the Jujutsu Society, so he had planned the attack so carefully to achieve his goal. He is actually after Yuta Akatsu's curse and plans to absorb the curse to make himself stronger. When the Jujutsu sorcerers rushed to the battle site in Shinjuku, Yuta was asked to stay at the school as they were worried that Rika would get out of control and attack everyone. He is accompanied by Maki, considered less talented as a Jujutsu sorcerer, even though she is a descendant of the Zenin family, one of the Big Three Sorcerer families. Born as a non-sorcerer in one of the Big Three Sorcerer families, Maki was constantly mistreated, so she eventually expelled herself from the Zenin clan. However, she aspires to be a great Jujutsu sorcerer despite her family. Upon hearing that, Yuta also praised Maki and hoped she could fulfill her wish. Not long after, Yuta saw a magical barrier that suddenly appeared and enveloped the entire school area. At the same time, Gojo realizes Geito's true goal after failing to find his whereabouts on the battlefield. Gojo rushed to send Inumaki and Panda to Jujutsu High School using teleportation magic. Arriving there, Panda immediately destroyed the magical barrier and fought against Geito, who was already there. However, Panda is not a worthy opponent for him, so even he can easily take down Panda. Inumaki and Maki rushed to attack Geito, but they were easily defeated. Seeing all his friends lying helpless, Yuta became very angry and prepared to fight Geito. Yuta ignored his friend's warnings and released his cursed spirit. He can even impress Geito by using the Inumaki family's cursed speech technique. The battle becomes even more fierce when Yuta and Geito show their respective fighting abilities. Geito seemed to underestimate the strength of Yuta, who he thought was just a beginner. 
However, it was arrogance that caught Gato off guard, so Yuta managed to land a hard hit on his face, which made Gato take the fight seriously and release his strongest cursed spirits. On the other hand, Yuta, who realizes that he can't beat Gato with just his current ability, then pushes to his last resort, wanting to protect his friends. Yuta promises himself as a sacrifice to Rika if she helps him defeat Gato with her full power. Yuta then kisses Rika, allows her to release her true power, and manages to fatally wounds Gato as the Jujutsu sorcerers win the war. Afterward, Gojo comes across a dying Gato, revealing that the two had been best friends before Gato's ideology drove them apart. Gojo thanks Gato for intentionally sparing the students, then says last words to him that are unrevealed to the audience before ending his life. When Rika transforms back into her human form, Gojo explains to a surprised Yuta that he was the one who cursed her, unable to accept her death and forcing her to remain by his side. After he promised his soul to her, he broke the pact and set her free. Furthermore, Gojo reveals that Yuta is a descendant of one of the strongest sorcerers and one of the vengeful spirits, Michizane Sugawara, explaining his powerful abilities. Sugawara is also an ancestor to Gojo, so Gojo is Yuta's distant relative. Sometime later, Rika bids Yuta a warm goodbye, and he continues as a sorcerer in training with his friends, still wearing her engagement ring. The moral that can be learned from this anime is, there is always some madness in love, but there is also some reason for madness. Love removes the masks we fear we cannot live without and know we cannot live within.